everyone welcome back to my channel um i've just finished doing my pastel uh page for my mini art journal and i feel like i need some bright colors i need to cheer myself up so i'm going to have a go at something that i've seen on instagram in my instagram feed i'm sure most of you have seen it as well and it's very similar it's on the same kind of lines as balloon painting but for this you need a plastic bag we need to tie um Let's do it down here. I think we need to tie a knot in the in the corner. I'm gonna try and do it. it. Doesn't really. I don't think it really matters. I'm going to put it right in the corner though, and we'll see if that works. Then you need to turn your bag inside out. This is just a food bag, like that, because we want something like this, where it sort of um, it's all gathered. And now you're going to have to breathe into the bag or wheeze into the bag in my case. So beware, I'm going to blow into the bag. Uh, probably don't need it quite that big, but I'm going to do it like that anyway. So I've trapped some air. I think I've got too much air, so I'll let some out. I'll let a bit out. Sorry about the bag whistling. Tie another knot in your bag to keep your air in. Right, this is what we're after. Something like this. This is quite big. I guess if you had a smaller bag um, or you didn't blow it up quite so much, you would have less, um, less of an area here. So that's what we're going to be working with. I'm going to grab some paint. Let's get out some orange and some pink. Let's go pink. Bright pink, magenta, not pink pink, pale pink. Whoopsie, seem to have a lot of that. Let's do that. Um, my brushes are in water, so let me get some kitchen paper just to dry them off a bit. Don't want this to be too wet. Uh, oh, I suppose I could use that brush. That wasn't what the plan was. This one is the other one. Here we go. Right then, so, grabbing my bag, holding it, and, uh, oh, I've gone for orange now. We'll have orange on the outside. So use your bag. And apply your paint something like that I'm going to go two tones so I'm going to put try and put my brush down so that I don't knock it everywhere and have a bit of the pink in the middle not really blending it but I am trying to go over the join that's all Right, let's see what happens. I'm going to print with it. This is watercolour paper, but quite cheap watercolour paper from the works. Okay, let's do that again. I think if you had a smaller bag, this with a smaller surface area here, you would get smaller flowers, which might be more what you're, what you're after. Let's try that. Oops, I whacked at the camera. That was with my small paintbrush as well. There's no hope for us. Right, let's go there. Cool, right, I'll do a few more of these. Then I'll maybe do some in a different colour. I might try and get a smaller bag as well and see if I can make some smaller ones because these are nice but they're quite big if you don't want anything quite this big I don't know if I've got a small food bag I rarely use um, plastic bags these days so this is what I've just got left in my stash cool that's it almost looks like a butterfly that one let's make it I've got lots of pink, so I'm going to go put 
more pink on this time. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I am just, it's really hard to show you under the camera. Doing that. Let's tip some more orange out. Not too much. And this time I'm going to put some orange on the center. I can't really show you under the camera because I can't see what I'm doing, but I am just putting some paint there. And let's go down here. Cool. You could make a painting with that if you want to see that. But I'm thinking of cutting mine out to, to use. So maybe if I didn't do quite such a large, if I didn't come out such a long way, maybe that would help as well. Okay, I'm liking those a lot. I like the irregularity of them. Right, I'm just going to use up this paint, then I'm going to either change the bag or um, at least change the colour. I'd like to make some smaller ones, I'll see if I can. Right, I'm going to let those dry. Let's put my brushes in to soak. Um, is it worth cleaning this bag? Because you could just clean that off and reuse it. So I'm going to see if I can find a smaller bag. Bear with me. Right, it's surprisingly hard to keep air in a plastic bag. I've had to put elastic band on here because it was too small to tie a knot in. Um, I've got the original knot inside, but maybe it's better with less air. I don't know. Let us try again. Um, this time we're going to use some blue. And I'm going to put, maybe I need a smaller brush. Maybe that brush is too big. Maybe I could do with a smaller brush and just have a little bit going on. Like that. Okay. So let's see. I like that. I can feel my bag deflating. Uh, it might be one of those things that you perhaps just have to hold and keep blowing into. I don't know. That's what's why a balloon is quite good because it um, obviously it stays stays inflated. But I like the idea. So if you haven't got balloons and you still want to make flowers, these are a bit more flowery shaped, I guess, because the balloons are very round. Hmm. Struggling a bit to with some air, but we'll keep going until I've got a pancake and then we'll try something else. I mean, when I did my um, flowers I, with balloons, I used a normal balloon, but I've since been told by Maggie and people that a water balloon, those little water balloons are the best thing to use, I guess, because they're small. Um, I suppose you could fill that with water. No, that's gonna be dangerous. Not gonna do that, and in fact, I think, well, I've run out of air, but I'm now thinking, do we need the air? Can we, could we put something in the bag, like some kitchen towel or something like that? Just use the bag as it is. I think we need something to press up against. Right, let's have another try. Bear with me. Right, I'm back with another part of the experiment. So, what I've done, let me show you what I've done. I've tied my knot here. Instead of going for a corner of the bag, which I've been doing, and I don't think that works because then you get the other corner pop out. I've tied a, a, a knot across the whole of the bottom of the bag, basically. Turn it inside out. That will give us what we want. Not going to blow into the bag because I can't keep doing that. And also, I don't think it's necessary. I've got two pieces of kitchen paper. I've balled them up, put them inside. 
that gives me something to, to, to grip on like that and then I am going to uh, I'm going to use pink and yellow this time so like that there's the pink and the yellow let's try that oh it's not great that's better push it down more right let's get some more paint on there I like the fact that they're kind of flower you can get it more flower shaped and I bet you don't have to do two colors at once you could do um, you could do the pink and then go over it with yellow when it was dry pressing down quite hard this time yes I will call that a success I think that works better for me I'm not very good at keeping air in a bag um, or even blowing into a bag and then uh, I like this idea I quite like putting the yellow on or whatever color you're using in the center because it does you know I'm getting orange here now just press down hard with it and you know to me that is easier so you just need a plastic bag with a hole with a hole with a knot in it you don't want a hole in it put some tissue paper in it to give you something to press against it doesn't have to be tissue paper i guess you could use tin foil or whatever you've got to hand any old packaging those are pretty cool i quite like those let's have a Another go. Ooh, I am liking. I'm seeing possibilities with these as well. I'm getting a bit of a mess with my paint, so it might be better to do one colour and then overprint it with another. But those are pretty cool, and you could make a picture with those. Let's do that. Let's move that to one side, get us a fresh bit of paper. Might need some more paint in a minute as well, but for starters. Keep this bit I'm ripping off, that can go in my collage pot. Right, let's have, should I do it tall or shall I do it? Mm -mm -mm. let's go tall hopefully you can see what I'm doing we could come up a little bit couldn't we something like that right let's stick with these colours for the beginning hang on a minute I've dropped my um, kitchen towel and it's rolled everywhere and unravelled get rid of the pink on this brush I'm getting in a bit of a painty mess but never mind right let's see what we can do with this may need to rearrange my bags and the uh, thinking of the kitchen paper inside but we'll see let's go with that and then here we go don't forget to press it quite hard. I have a couple of this colour, maybe three of this colour and three of a different. Let's turn that around. That's better. Gosh, sorry if you hear my birds squawking in the background. Sometimes they make really nice sounds and usually this time in the afternoon they sing 
they sing each other to sleep. But I think somebody's molting, and when they are, they get ever so crotchety. Right, push this one down. Awesome. Right, I'm not going to make a new bag. I'm going to get a baby wipe and see if I can clean this one. It's not going to matter if it gets a bit of another colour in it. That will do. What I might do is just perhaps rearrange my tissue inside, perhaps plump it up a little bit. Pop it back in. Make sure it's sort of around the gathered bit. I can see that I've exposed some paint that way so I'm going to try and clean that off but I'm not going to be too fussy about it. That will do. Um, let us have some blue paint this time because I've still got a paintbrush in the blue and this little oops might help I put the right end of the paintbrush in the water. Let's go green. Oh no green's not a great colour. Well, it is a great colour, but it's not the colour I'm thinking of because if I'm going to put stems on, they'll probably want to be green. Let's go red. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry if you can hear my parents. I can hear them having a fit in there. Angry bird squawks. Right, let's try blue ones. We're the red centre. Not too much paint, I don't think, because I think it's important to see the wrinkles the gathered bit. Right, let's go here. Try not to think about it too much. And another one. I'm just painting. I'm painting away from the, under the camera because I know I'll just whack it with my paintbrushes. But you can, you know, I am just dropping paint on there. Uh, where can I have another one here? They can overlap a bit because that's what flowers do in a vase. There we go. We'll have one more red, uh, blue one. This is just ordinary acrylic paint, but I don't see why you couldn't try it with other other paints. It might get in a bit of a mess with watercolour. I don't know if it will um, hold its you know, hold on to the bag too long, but experimentation, right, I think I'm going to stop there for that and leave that, I'm going to get me some green and I'm going to get me a bit of packaging, this will do, I think this is just something that, um, a stamp set, really long enough but it will have to do. I'm going to stick some green paint down. Don't know if this will work. Using this, I'm using some packaging but I'm using the straight edge not the edge I cut. I'm loading it up and I might even bend it a bit, why not? It kind of works. Gives, uh, I'll be careful, I don't want it to go through that flower so Let's do that. Um, here's another straight edge, so we'll do that. Something like that. Um, and like that. I feel a bit like Jay Lee, if you know Jay Lee. An incredibly talented artist. I am jesting. Of course. Right, let's go like that. And like that. And what these flowers I think could do with is a little bit of doodling, which I will do in a minute. Um, maybe that one needs to be like that. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm literally just having a little play. I'm going to let that dry and I might doodle it and if it looks anything decent I will come back and show you. But uh, for now, let me, um, oh I made such a huge mess, look at me, look at our lovely flowers that we've made. And they're, I think that I actually like them better than the balloon. The balloon ones are great for lollipop flowers, but look, 
these look so organic, don't they? They look like flowers. All right, I'm going to I'll show you them at the very end. I'm going to play with this, play with those and show you my wares at the end. Right, so I had a little doodle on some of these. They're all dry, nicely dry. I had a little doodle, put a bit of gold in the centre. A bit of white in those. That's what that looked like. But these are some, these are made um, afterwards with, um, with a bag, but with kind of pale, yes, pastel colours. Just four of those. Um, and then we've got all of these that I doodled on. These are the ones that we made. Doodled, add a little, added a bit of um, gold in the center. But, I don't know, they're more, more or less identical in, in their own way. And there are these ones with the bigger circle, bigger uh, bag. Let's see if you can see these. They're really cool. I like the fact they look a bit more organic than a balloon. The balloon are great for lollipop flowers, you know, if you just want a circle, but these are a little bit more organic. And then we've got these ones. I think these are my favourite, the blue ones. Oh, look, how cool. Pretty little flowers, aren't they? Yeah, they are much of a much of a muchness anyway I just and all I've done is sort of giving them a little bit of definition just by looking at them you could sort of see where to put petals and things that's that's all I've done anyway I just thought I'd show you what they look like thanks for watching and um, I'll be back again well in my next video bye for now